Hi friends, thanks for joining me. Welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a day in the life. Today is my first day off, so today's Friday and I have three days off, so my first day at home I like to just clean a lot. I'm um, doing some other fun things this afternoon, so I thought I'd take you along and let's get right into the cleaning. I'm in my bathroom because that's where you start cleaning the shower. And I wanted to mention my shower cleaner that I'm using. If you don't already, follow me on Facebook. I've talked about this cleaner a couple times before because it's like, it's magic. It's fantastic. So I'm going to spray it all over the inside of my shower and leave it and come back and clean it. But this is homemade. It's just in whatever cleaning bottle I had left over. But it's three parts. One third water, one third food on dish soap, and one third vinegar, white vinegar. Works so good. While I'm assembling lunch today, I just wanted to show you what we're having for lunch because it's one of our favorite recipes at super easy and super quick to make. So I've just prepped everything so that I can show you. It's a layered salad. So I start with greens. These are mixed lettuce, Swiss chard, and kale. And a tip, if you're making layered salads, Buddha bowls, that kind of thing, take some of your dressing and mix it up in a bowl with the greens that you're gonna put in the bottom that way, there's like flavor throughout the entire salad. I think it really helps. So there's greens. This is the dressing. I will post the entire recipe on Facebook, so I will link that down below, that post. But um, this dressing, we love it. Like even just on greens for, you know, just a plain salad. It doesn't have to be the whole recipe. This is my go-to go -to vinaigrette recipe. So, definitely check it out. It's easy to make too. Grated carrot, grated beet. This is one beet, but it's like way more than we're gonna use after I grate it all up. Chickpeas, cooked up chickpeas. I used a can, but you can also cook your own. And then today I'm gonna put hemp hearts on top for a little extra protein and omegas and all that. But um, the original recipe calls for sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds are really good. I've used a variety. You can definitely mix it up. And definitely you can add like other grated vegetables, you could add black rice, you can add lots of things to make this recipe just a bit different. We'll probably be eating some white rice on the side because that's what I made for my one-year-old. Because my one-year-old isn't going to eat this, she's going to have meatloaf. But um, for my husband and I, we really like this.
So I am just cleaning out our entryway here, as you can see, to mop. But I wanted to show you my strollers. I have one, two, and then I have another one outside. Three strollers in a little tiny entrance, and it's a bit crazy, so I'm gonna try to sell one. But I wanted to say a note about strollers. This is a city mini, it's the double, it's the side-by-side. -side. Um, I work as a nanny, so I need a double stroller for the two little ones. And then this is a really old peg pair go. That was mine as a baby. And I've been borrowing it from my mom. Thinking about returning it. Because it's a single stroller and I'm just not using it anymore. But these two strollers, peg pair go and like the city select strollers, are so expensive. But they're really good. Whoop. You can hear my little one woke up. Um, they're really, really good quality. So I'm going to show you the one that I want to sell. Stuck it outside. This is the stroller. Now I bought this second hand for like 30 bucks, so I'm hoping to make as much off of it as I sold, at least. I'm gonna try posting it for 40 and see if I get 40. But this is the sit and stand stroller. So this seat, I guess you can like take it out and then have a toddler that stands on that board down there. Y'all, it's incredible. <laughs> This stroller is so much harder to steer and so much harder to drive. I mean, it's a good stroller, but, and had I not had the City Select one, maybe I wouldn't have cared, but comparing this to the City Select, yeah, no comparison. So I'm gonna take some pictures, try to sell it online. making a treat. Does this every couple of weeks probably? Can you tell us what you're making? Hi, I'm making you right now arepas. Colombian arepas. And what's that? Uh, For people who don't know, what's what's an arepa? Basically, um, an arepa is like um, how oh, I can explain that? You take the corn. It's like and you it's blend the corn. You grind the corn. Yeah. And when you grind the corn, you will have this, and with this you will do circles uh, with basically this thickness and basically this size for the breakfast or your lunch or your supper, whatever you want. It's really delicious every moment of the day. It, it's like a Colombian cornbread. Yeah. Basically. And it's a very very plain taste, so you can put lots of things on it. We need to add salt after. Yeah, salt. Um, yeah, and Fai cooked his corn in the Instant Pot. Now he's grinding it up to make arepas. This is a traditional Colombian food, right? Yeah, really traditional, more from my, from my city, Medellin, because you eat arepas every time. Look at this, look at this. Hi. Yeah. What happened? Why are you sitting there, girl? 
That's a funny place to sit. How are you going to get off? Okay. actually came to look at is the kitchen. Look at this. Look at this cute kitchen. Got a little blackboard. Look at these hooks. It's like so super luxe. Five and minute or something. Oh my goodness, look at that. It even turns on. It like goes red when she turns it on. Check that out guys. Oh my goodness. I want to play with this kitchen. Look at this. I want to be younger and have this kitchen for me. I know! <laughs> it's so cute. So it's $179.99. We're trying to decide. Is it worth it? Is this a good price for this kitchen? I think Esther likes it. Look at this. I've been searching for a long time and this one comes with all like the veggies, the baskets, the knife, ice for the ice machine. Like look at, look at this, it's got an ice machine y'all and it actually works currently. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is too cool. Look at her, she's like in love. I think we made a mistake introducing her to this kitchen already. <laughs> Esther! <laughs> Esther, do you love it? Look what we found. <laughs> laughing at you. Paparazzi? I'm uh, laughing at you because you found a cheap guitar. Yeah, he just bought a guitar, a Fender, very similar. For $700, $600? And this one here at Costco. GWL, $160, y'all. Oh. Got a microphone. An amp. Hello. Wow, what a nice song. Yeah, but this is a karaoke machine, Fi. Yeah. Don't buy a karaoke machine. Do you hear my sexy voice? <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Hello, baby. Hi. Look at Hi. her. She's like, this is so weird. <laughs> you guys are just being so weird. No, it's a nice effect. Hmm. It's a karaoke machine five. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need a cable now. But it's got like the world's tiniest amp. Look at that little tiny amp. Sí, pero... That's hilarious. It comes with the amp though. It's $160 for a guitar and a tiny amp. How is that even possible? Pero, ¿dónde está el cable? I don't know. Somebody stole it probably. It's a good guitar, but it's not the same down the Fender. No, it's but not it's a good. Fender. It's but not a bad guitar. So, uh, in Costco, I wasn't able to film as much as I wanted to because when we first got there, it was pretty quiet, and I filmed a little, filmed a little bit, which you'll see. I'll be able to put some clips in. But as I went along, there was like more and more people and more and more kids, obviously, in the um, toy section. And I just felt like I shouldn't be filming because I kept almost getting kids in and 
I didn't want, you know, parents to think I was taking pictures or filming their children because that's just weird. So I thought I would end the vlog today by just showing you a couple things that we did get from Costco. Well, I'll show you a couple of the things we got from Costco. We got a lot of stuff. Firstly, we got the kitchen. We really went back and forth on it. We didn't pick it up at first, like we went and walked around the whole store and then we were like, yes or no. Because it was a bit more expensive than we thought we were gonna pay. And I've been looking online for like second hand stuff, but we just kind of reasoned it out this way. One, this is a really, really good quality kitchen. I like that it's wood versus plastic. A lot of cheaper ones are plastic. This is actually wood. I don't like the style and the color, it's very neutral. This, I don't know how much we needed it, but it was really nice. <laughs> this is a company Ellen Tracy. Oh, it's made in Canada. That's very unusual to find clothes made in Canada. Super. That makes me happy. Wait a minute. This was in the men's side. This was in the men's section. But the ticket is like a woman wearing this shirt. I'm not sure if this is a man's shirt after all. That would be funny if it's a woman's shirt and I get to keep it. Because it would fit me. We fit almost the same size of clothing. That is super weird. Look at this. But we looked at it and we thought, oh, long sleeve blue shirt. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. It was $11 though, for this like really thick, kind of navy blue long sleeve shirt, which we bought for five. But I think he's going to have to try it on at home and see if he really wants it. He tried it on like over his shirt. But I don't know. Tell me what you think below. Would anyone even know that it's technically a woman's shirt? Like, I feel like this is really unisex. We could both wear it. That is too funny. Anyways, but it is really, it's a really nice quality shirt, so. That was cool. This is definitely men's though. So this was Fies, he bought it. Let's see what the brand it is. BC Clothing Co. It was $19.99, plush lined hoodie. As you can see, it's like really, really, really fuzzy inside. It looks amazing. Super thick. Just a nice gray sweater for fun. In medium. Men. Then, I think this is a steal of a deal. If you need leggings, or I guess jeggings, jeans, they had these pants in gray, black, and like kind of like a dressy blue fabric versus jean blue, if that makes sense. Paid $15, $14.99 for a pair of leggings or jeggings. Super happy. They're really more like jeans than leggings. They're quite thick and they're not super tight on me either, which I like. After that, there was lots of leggings, lots of really, really nice leggings, but that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for more of like a slim leg jeans, so they were the cheapest jeans there and exactly what I was looking for, so I was happy. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Thanks for coming along on the last couple days and I hope to do more vlogs. Let me know if you enjoy them, if you'd like to see something specific in vlogs or just in general, what would you like to see from, from me? I'm definitely thinking of doing some hauls and like some shop with me's if that's what you're interested in and other than that we'll just just keep going, see what other ideas I have. Thanks, I hope you will like this video and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!